July 29, 2025. A monster 8.8 .8 quake rips through the Pacific near Russia. Tsunami sirens blare from Alaska to Japan, but hours later, something bizarre begins happening thousands of miles away. America's cascade volcanoes start pulsing, almost like they're alive. At first, scientists dismissed it as aftershocks. Megaquakes often send shockwaves bouncing through Earth like a bell being struck, but this wasn't random noise. Across the entire Cascade Range, from Mount Baker in Washington down to Mount Shasta in California, seismic monitors began picking up faint, rhythmic pulses, not once, not twice, but in a repeating pattern, stretching for nearly six hours. And here's what made experts nervous. These weren't ordinary tremors. They appeared almost simultaneously across multiple volcanoes, synchronized like instruments in a hidden orchestra. The Pacific Northwest Seismic Network had never seen anything like it. Post-quake vibrations are common, but not this structured, not this widespread, and certainly not this regular. Dozens of bursts spaced out in perfect intervals, as if something deep below the cascades was keeping time. Was this just harmless resonance, or the earliest warning signs that the quiet giants of the Pacific Northwest were stirring together? What came next shifted the entire conversation, because one volcano in particular began acting very differently. And the first to draw attention? Mount Rainier. At 12.17 p.m. on July 30th, barely eight hours after the Kamchatka quake, a strange swarm of long, low-frequency pulses began echoing beneath its southeastern flank. They weren't loud. They weren't violent. But they were too precise to ignore. Within minutes, the same signals appeared under Mount St. Helens, then Mount Hood, then the Three Sisters in central Oregon. One by one, the Cascade volcanoes seemed to answer Rainier's call. Automatic alert systems quietly triggered across the northwest. But here's the twist. None of the volcanoes showed eruption signs. No harmonic tremors that usually suggest magma is rising. No GPS shifts to show the ground swelling. No sudden gas release. Yet the signals pulsed on, steady and coordinated. By evening, USGS and top university scientists had convened in an emergency session. The verdict? These were not random aftershocks. They were transient, tremor-like pulses, eerily similar to what's seen before eruptions, just without any of the physical changes that normally come with them. So if the mountains weren't preparing to erupt, what exactly were they responding to? According to Dr. Alina Valdez, it's not an eruption signal. It's more like the mountain is listening, responding to a global pressure wave. And Dr. Andrew Forrester added, these pulses came every 11 minutes, like clockwork. That kind of timing does not happen in geological noise. What made this so remarkable wasn't just Rainier. It was the sheer scale. Data from more than 40 seismic stations lit up at once, showing tremor pulses across nearly 14 different volcanoes. Each signal was faint, but they carried the same rhythm, like the entire mountain chain was keeping time with an invisible metronome. Scientists compared it to a bell choir, each volcano chiming in when struck by a planetary shockwave. But here's the mystery. No one could explain why the cascades would sing together like this. Dr. Tessa Nakamura described it this way. It's as if the whole arc of the cascades was gently rung out, not violently, but just enough to make the mountains hum. And then, almost as quickly as it began, the signals faded. By August 1st, the strange pulse was gone. No eruptions, no ground swelling, no abnormal heat on satellite scans. Official alert levels, still green, but the scientific community, buzzing with questions. The quake that sparked all this wasn't ordinary. An 8.8 .8 release of energy is enough to shift entire plates, not just shake local coastlines. These events ripple outward, redistributing stress across the planet, and the cascades, resting on their mix of faults, fluids, and magma chambers, acted like tuning forks, hypersensitive to the slightest change. So the question became, were the cascades simply vibrating like struck strings, or were we witnessing something deeper, a direct interaction between a megaquake and dormant magma systems? Dr. Ian Niles of Stanford put it best, think of these volcanoes like tightly wound springs. You don't need to snap them for them to respond. Sometimes the gentlest nudge can set them wobbling. And history reminds us, Saint. Helens erupted in 1980 with only weeks of warning. Rainier, with its glaciers and lahar risks, could be even more dangerous if nudged the wrong way. By early August, researchers began digging into the anomaly with fresh tools. 
Using matched filter analysis, they compared the Cascade's mysterious pulses against decades of seismic archives. What they found was surprising. The signals looked less like eruption tremor and more like deep, slow-slip earthquakes, the kind that occur silently along hidden faults. But that raised an even bigger question. Was the Kamchatka megaquake nudging the Cascade's buried faults into motion? Another theory went further. Some scientists whispered about resonance, standing waves rippling through Earth's mantle like sound through a cathedral. Imagine the entire planet ringing like a bell, its vibrations transferring energy to the Cascade's partially molten underworld. If true, this wasn't just seismic noise, it was Earth itself, playing the volcanoes like instruments. At Mount Rainier, sensors recorded tiny but measurable heat changes near fumaroles. At Shasta, geophones detected the first unusual ground noise in years. Japanese and Russian monitoring stations picked up sympathetic tremors in their own volcanic arcs. It was as if volcanoes across hemispheres were quietly acknowledging the same planetary jolt. And that left scientists staring at a startling possibility. Are volcanoes worldwide connected by invisible threads of seismic energy? Dr. Wren of the Global Seismology Institute summed it up bluntly. Volcanoes don't act in isolation. They are part of a planetary system that responds together. For the first time, it seemed the Cascades had proven him right. By that weekend, a cautious consensus began forming. What the Cascades had experienced wasn't magma surging upward. It wasn't eruption tremor. It was something new, what scientists started calling volcanic micro-resonance. Energy from the Kamchatka quake had traveled not just through the crust, but possibly into deeper magma reservoirs, causing subtle oscillations without eruption. In other words, the mountains may have briefly exhaled together. At the University of Washington, Dr. Shaw Weber noted that GPS stations registered tiny synchronized shifts across multiple peaks, as if the entire volcanic chain flexed for a heartbeat. In Southern Oregon, Newberry Caldera's geothermal output ticked upward, just enough to catch attention. And offshore, hydroacoustic sensors captured faint, low-frequency tones beneath the cascades themselves sounds no one expected from a supposedly quiet arc. Despite the strangeness, eruption risk remained low. Gas emissions stabilized, satellite heat scans showed nothing unusual, and the tremor sequence faded. But the scientific implications were enormous. Nearly every major Cascade volcano had responded in unison to a distant quake, pulsing together like linked organs in Earth's body before falling silent again. Some researchers called it the first real evidence of tectonic volcanic coupling across continents. Others argued it proved dormant, volcanoes are far more sensitive to planetary vibrations than anyone assumed. And a few asked the most unsettling question of all. If one megaquake can make volcanoes whisper in unison, what happens if the next one strikes before the echoes fade? The synchronized pulse of the Cascades has faded back into silence. But the mystery remains. Was it harmless resonance, or the first hint that Earth's greatest forces are more connected than we've ever imagined? If you've got a theory, drop it in the comments. Do you think these pulses were just echoes of a megaquake, or could they be warning signs of something bigger? This is Geosphere, where we explore the hidden patterns shaping our planet. If you want to keep uncovering Earth's most powerful and mysterious forces, make sure to subscribe and join us on this journey. Because sometimes the planet whispers, and it pays to listen.